I saw Ellie Mae walking around in here and she walked around like, I like to use the phrase, I woke up like this, like she was walking like that. This is Ellie Mae after Dr. Amber Horn removed nine pounds of fur from her body. While she's looking her best now, this was her a few weeks ago at her worst. This is actually her, her head up here. Nebraska Humane Society says matting is actually painful for dogs. It's kind of like having a blood pressure cuff completely inflated all the time on your arm. That's how she felt constantly all over her body. It's the worst matting case Nebraska Humane Society has ever seen. Not only was the pelt removed from Ellie Mae, uh, she know, also had seven inch long nails oh, that man. needed trimming. This is probably a process of at least over a year of not having access to adequate um, care. It was shelter groomer Jenna Basler's third day on the job. She says she couldn't let her emotions get in the way of the work that needed to be done. You kind of just snap into this mode of get to work, take care of this dog, especially because, you know, the longer they're under anesthesia, the more dangerous it gets too. While Dr. Horn says the case was an extreme, she says they see milder matted cases often. Unfortunately, this is something that we deal with almost weekly where we have animals that are so matted. Ellie May is still being treated for other health issues she had due to the matting. She's on an antibiotic right now, but the NHS says she's still available for adoption. David, back to you. Okay, Waverly, we're glad she got the help she needs.